Well, hello there again, friends. It's me, Ari, back in uh, Hobbit Homes and Gardens, in Vintage Story. Uh, I got some some uh, meat cooking up behind me, and that's not red meat, that's bush meat. Where did all that bush meat come from? Well, folks, uh, between last episode and this one, I've done a little bit of work around the house. Uh, I started building my first farm, and I thought that would be something I could just do on the side, you know, in between episodes, just start building a simple farm, get that flax growing, stuff like that, and uh, just give you a little highlight reel, and well, friends, uh, it didn't go exactly the way I expected it to. Uh, why don't you just take a look? So we'll start, you know, pruning the trees, gonna make a little space down here by the garden, cut the trees down. Uh, with my copper axe there. I love the sound of gathering up all the logs after you chop down a big tree. And uh, yeah, just just clearing out a big area here because I knew I was going to need a lot of space for the farm. Uh, I gotta plant that flax. Flax is very important. So once I've got a good amount of space there, I'm like, okay, I want, I want granite cobblestone. Didn't have a lot of that, so I went down to the mines. Of course I had to clear out my first couple of drifters, which again, this game is set to uh, passive mode, so it's, it's not that big a deal. Just, just bop them. And then uh, down into the quarry, where I'm quarrying out. Now I figure if I'm going to be uh, just getting granite stones to make cobble, might as well quarry out some blocks too. And look how deep I went. All the way down there, and you look down, turn around, can't even see the bottom. That's how deep that is. There's going to be drifters in there later. So I made up my cobblestone, you know, just peaceful building, just a peaceful building, and here I'm going to start digging, oh, what, what's that? That's a wolf. Alright, that wolf's a little too close to com too close for comfort, so go out, find another wolf, and uh, in engage the wolves in combat now. They have this new jumping, biting attack thing that they do, which is really uh, surprisingly difficult to dodge. And then once you get them down to a certain amount of health, they run away. And you chase and you chase and you chase, but in the forest, they can go under one block high gaps, and you can't. And you can't see them through the leaves, so I lost it. So, alright. Head back. Digging out my farm. Standard, uh, was it a 7x7? A seven seven. Put down my terra preta. Put down my cobble border. I got a nice plan here. It's gonna be a nice little starter farm. Putting up the fences to keep the hares out, of course. And then go down, dig the trench so that the hares will fall in. Look at this, look at this beautiful place. This is really nice. I like it. So, you know, get my seeds. Gonna start planting my first bits of flax in the uh, in the farm there. Got a hoe, got to till the ground, of course, first, and put the water in there. Plant the flax. This is a really important step. Need a lot of flax. And, oh, I heard another wolf. Is that the same one? I don't know. But I gotta get it. So I start fighting the wolf, and then inevitably, you hit it enough times, it starts to run away. And then you chase it back into the forest again. Turns around, gives another swipe, and then it's gone. Where'd it go? Chase, 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 follow its howls. Uh, no matter how far I follow this 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 big old popper here, it just kept disappearing. And then where do I find it? I find it at my farm, trying to get at the hares in the hare trap, which fortunately it can't reach. Managed to kill my first one at last. The next day, here's another one at another hare trap. And it's the same story all over again. You hit it enough times, and then what does it do? Inevitably, it runs off into the forest, try to chase it down, can't find it. The amount of time I spent chasing these wolves, I finally found it. This is like 15 minutes later. I finally found it in this pond over here. It's easier to fight them in the water because they can't move as well as you can. They can't kind of sprint in the water. So I'm like, all right, I need a better weapon than a flint spear here. So of course I make myself up a little copper one. Copper spear does a little bit more damage than the flint ones. We're going on a wolf hunt, baby. So I go down in this area. I'm like, okay, here's one of the wolves. Now, what I find down here is it's not just one wolf. So I'm killing this one. I'm focused on killing this one. And then in the back, see that? There's another one back there. And uh, I got to tell you, folks, there was there was a lot more wolves than I even show on this. I spent so much time like, oh, yeah, there's another one. Get that one. Oh, you see there's another gray one behind it back there. The amount of time I spent hunting and killing wolves, I don't even show all of them on here because I just I couldn't I couldn't get them all on video. It was just, I spent hours and hours chasing them down, finding them. Some of them kind of glitched into the landscape a little bit, which made it easier to fight them. Then this one bites me, and I realized, oh my god, I'm almost dead. I gotta get home. Usually on this passive animals mode, you don't get that low of health. But this time, oh man. So I'm like, alright, how about a sword? How about a tin bronze sword? That'll do more damage. Uh, and it did. It makes it a lot easier, and you can hit a lot faster as well. And I hunted down as many of them as I could find. 
But oh my goodness, folks. I must have killed a dozen wolves and it took me hours. Hours of work. Ugh, freaking wolves. So, uh, I must have killed at least 12 wolves. Uh, there's probably still more of them out there, but I killed as many as I could find. I don't hear their howls anymore. The problem with wolves, folks, is that they, uh, they, they breed. They have, they have babies, and then the, ba the babies grow up and they have more babies, and you wind up with a whole huge herd of wolves. And this would be fine if you could kill them all, but even if you kill them all, they'll still spawn in again. So it's going to be a constant nuisance because we are living in sort of wolf country here. Uh, the upside, I will, I'm going to get plenty of bush meat. Oh my goodness, that's, that's not even close to enough firewood. Let's just put all the firewood we have in there. Don't worry, I can make more if we need to. Uh, and I will need to because that's not going to be enough either. Um, but oh my goodness, I spent, I spent literal hours of my life just hunting down and, and hunting the wolves. Uh, but if you listen now... No howls. No howls, my friends. So the sheep are over here. Uh, the bighorn you is ready to mate. Okay, it wasn't the last time I checked. So what I need to do is... Uh, I need to get a whole bunch of grass to feed it with. I'll do that. And we need to get that you... Uh, I think it's... 10 saturation. I think it needs to eat 10 portions of food before it will actually mate with that fellow there. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Uh, Gather up a couple of stacks of dry grass to feed it. Could use grain, of course, but I don't have that much grain yet. I'm still, I'm still in the early days of, of food production here. I still got, by the way, this this one last little uh, little grain. It's just gonna be in there for ages while well, I wait for it to grow. When is it, what stage is it at now? Eight of no. Okay, it's almost done. It's almost done. And then we'll get rid of this here and build something else over here. But yeah, this is the final product of the uh, the farm that I built. And just hop across here. This is all flax. I didn't have enough terra preta to fill the whole thing, so this flax is gonna grow a little bit slower. But this is just our very first sort of starter farm. We got wolf bones over there. That's kind of creeping me out. I'm probably gonna go get rid of those. Also found some soybeans, planted those, got some carrots growing. But the flax is the most important thing because we need that fabric for all kinds of stuff. Uh, I also got my first batch of salt done and I put the next batch in. So I have a little bit of salt. I can start preserving things. That will be necessary. Um, It'll be, it'll be necessary for making cheese, although that's pretty far down in the future. But just to preserve large amounts of meat and stuff like that is what that is for. So I'm gonna I'm gonna gather up some straw and let's uh, let's feed let's feed the sheep. All right, there we go. I finally got two stacks of the grass. The uh, the downside of living in this sort of hilly, foresty area is actually kind of hard to get at the grass. However, while I was chasing all those wolves. I noticed something. Let me see if I can find it again here. Oh, hello. Should put out some food for you folks as well. Although I probably don't really have much of a use for boars. Um, so I'm planning on doing mostly vegetarian, actually, once I'm established with enough food and stuff. Anyway, come down. While I was chasing the wolves, I wasn't talking. Usually while I'm playing this game, I'm talking. And I have the game volume set fairly low. There it is. You hear that? We got bees right here. I don't even have to go down. If you look at the map, I marked bees right here. We don't even have to go that far. There's bees right here. Oh, see them? We've got little particle effects. And actually, that's something I want to get started with today. Is uh, I'm going to go make a skep. Uh, yeah, let's, let's feed the sheep. So there's bees everywhere, actually. Actually, there's bees everywhere. As I was running around chasing wolves, I found so many places where I could hear the buzzing of bees. It means I'm probably going to get stung a bit. Because I do plan on clearing, a, clearing out quite a lot of, uh, of the trees around here. To make space for the, the hobbit homes and gardens. And also just to, you know, reduce the, the frame lag a little bit. While I'm just playing, it's fine, but while I'm recording on OBS, it's just too much, and my, my computer starts to struggle a little bit. I have I have found that the uh, the video seems fine, because I, I've got OBS prioritizing the video, but that means that on my end, as the player, it's, uh, it's a little bit laggy. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff away. Remember, there we go. Got plenty of plants. Uh, made use of some of the horse tail that we have growing everywhere to heal myself while I was fighting those, uh, I mean, fighting those dang uh, wolves. Alright, anyway. So, 
We're gonna need more farm fields and stuff like that. I can build those later as the need arises. Uh, these guys are gonna be in here just eating. I would also like to put down a feeder for the chickens that I keep here in the woods, because it'd be good to have some eggs for some extra protein. Um, and let's get a sket down for those bees. I think that's, that's my current to-do list. Let's go. friends. When did I, uh, do this? Why don't I remember doing this? <laughs> Apparently I've already got a skep. I must have done this, I must have done this, uh, off camera. Well, let's, that simplifies things. Let's just pick that up. Uh, I guess I, I don't need to put a new one down just yet. We can set up our, our bees already. I was on my way to go and get some more clay, because I'm almost out of clay. I am still gonna go and do that. But apparently, I, I built a skep and got some bees without remembering it. Did I do that on camera? Was that off camera? Maybe it was off camera, and that's why I don't remember it. It was all just in a haze of wolves and chasing and fighting and barking and biting and wolves. All right, so we've got our populated skep. I made a couple of empty skeps. I need to go out and get some more uh, cattails. However, very important thing, we have got raccoons around here and raccoons will break open skeps with honey in them. So we're gonna have to fence these babies in so that them raccoons aren't gonna get at our delicious honey. So I'm gonna set up, this is gonna be the first uh, bee farm is going to be a temporary place because a lot of the stuff is going to be redone like this farm is very temporary a lot of this stuff is going to be redone once i get further along in the building process oh goodness there's a chicken there's a chicken in the there's a chicken in the hair trap folks chicken in the hair trap to get that out of there eventually <laughs> anyway uh, i'm going to come over here we get this this nice area over here which is uh flat and it's big enough and we'll just put down that one there that one there. Surround them with fences so we don't take any risks with those raccoons. Those raccoons are dastardly little thieves. They'll come right in here. They don't even care. Probably pull this back a little bit because every once in a while uh, a creature, a little critter, will find a way to jump over a fence. What am I? That's. Come on, Ari. Get it together. Get it together a little bit. This isn't that hard. You can do this. This is within your abilities. <laughs> there we go. So there should be no way for a critter to get in here now. No way for it to jump over. This is a little bit close. If it's a running, it might manage. I think with carry capacity. Yes, I can pick this up. Okay. Pick this up. Move it over here. It might start its count over. Oh no, it didn't. Well done, copy girl, copy girl. Creator of the carry, carry capacity uh, mod. Wonderful. Love, love copy girl. Oh, populated, okay, phew. Now we gotta put some flowers down. Oh, I got some flowers, but I'm realizing I may not have gotten enough. So let's just get these ones. I got these, these red ones, which are very pretty. You know, this may not be our final farm, but we can still make it look nice, right? Matter of fact, let's, a couple of these here and here. There we go. There's probably more flowers than is needed even, but that's good. So we're gonna give this a while. This population size will increase uh, as they, they hang out with the flowers and do their business, their bee business, and then gradually it will spread to the other ones. And eventually we'll have a much nicer enclosure for the bees. But this is our, our start with honey and wax. Wax is needed to make candles. Candles are needed to make lanterns. So this is a big step, very exciting. Let's go make a chicken feeder and see if we can get some chickens. Now the problem with the chickens, oh, I've got even more bush meat in here. Oh my goodness. 
didn't even realize. And some fresh raw red meat, which actually needs to be cooked up. Let's, let's cook that into a nice meal. Uh, some mushroom, maybe I'll grab some berries from upstairs. Uh, the chickens will not eat grass, so we do have to provide some grain for them. I'm gonna go ahead. I think it's, well, we'll see. We'll see how this, how this goes. Um, fill up these troughs. Now, I've heard chickens over by the farm. There's also, I also found a fox out there. I had to murder a fox, and of course you saw that the wolves were coming this way. I, I did hear a wolf howling, or howling. I did hear a wolf howling earlier. There we go. See, I can speak English. Okay, so this is just A and H, so that's all of my rye grain is going to the uh, the chickens. Eventually we'll use the flax grain for that because it's less nutritious. So we grow the flax for fabric. We'll grow other grains for food. Uh, I definitely need to expand my farms a little bit, but we got so many hares around, we got so many mushrooms around, I'm not, I'm not stressed for food at the moment. Plus, you know, all the wolves that I killed. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Uh, okay, so we'll just leave that there. I'm not gonna make an enclosure for them. We'll see if anyone comes by, if I leave those there. And then we'll, we'll plan from that point, and we'll fence them in, and we'll make a nice enclosure. And eventually, this will all be <laughs> so much nicer. Look at these pigs over here. You can't have the grain. That grain is for the sheep. You can't have that. So the thing about the pigs is th th their uses are limited, right? You you raise them for meat. They have a lot of babies, and the babies grow up pretty fast. And you use them for meat. You also get skins, leather from them, uh, and fat. How much and bones, of course, but I'm not going to have too much use for bones. How much, how much leather do you really need? How much fat do you really need? And I was, you know, I was hoping to do a mostly vegetarian sort of run here. How's, how's my sheep friend doing? I feel like I want to name you. This is in Minecraft, we can't do name tags, but I can, I can tell you what, folks. Uh, four portions eaten, all right, we're definitely gonna need more. Uh, let's, let's name these sheeps. Do sheeps need names? Uh, leave your comments, leave your suggestions for names in the comments below the video. Let's have, let's have the audience name the sheeps. <laughs> Keeping in mind, of course, that these are temporary sheeps. Eventually, they will breed into the next generation. And once we have the next generation, this generation is going to go bye-bye. So don't name them anything too precious. <laughs> Disposable sheeps. I'm going to go cook this meat. Man, I feel like these pigs are going to become a real nuisance. <laughs> Just lazing about wherever they feel like it. Come on, pigs. Be reasonable. Be polite. You're a guest here. Alright, so most of the goals for today are pretty much taken care of. We fed the sheeps. We got chicken feeder out there for the chickens. We uh, got our, our first farm set up. And we got our first bees set up. Um, got a little bit of time left. And you know, I did notice while I was out getting um, reeds and stuff and clay and whatnot. And I, um... I'm not proud of this, folks. I'm still having trouble remembering which way is north and which way is south. I know that this way is north. I know that this way is south. I got a mini-map in the top right-hand corner, but whenever I just go without thinking about it, I always head in the wrong direction. So, I think it's time to do something about that. I got one comment saying I should just put a sign out here that says which way is north and south. But you know what? I think I'm gonna do one better. Because we did say that this is the chiseling series. This is the series where I practice chiseling. I'm gonna chisel a little a little uh, notification for myself so that I never forget which way is which. Now, I don't have all the materials I'd like for this, so we're gonna do a simple version for now, and then after I go on another adventure and hopefully finally find some bauxite, uh, then we'll make it a little bit nicer. But let's go see what I got here. I think I need... I need to get some more materials, for sure. I'm gonna go do that. All right, I got my chisel. I got my chalk rocks. Let's do this.
Y... There we go. That'll do for a start. So we've got our very own, on our doorstep, little compass rose. When I come out of here, I don't know why. I guess I just automatically have north at the top. I may rotate those letters later so that they're facing this way. So that when I come out, I'll see them. I mean, I, not that I can't read letters rotated 90 degrees. I can. I have that ability. <laughs> but just, you know, to make it look a little bit nicer. So uh, when I come out now, First thing I'm gonna see is this. North, south. I don't even need the east, west. I know those. I just, actually, all I really need is the north. But this is uh, this is our little starter compass rose. This will be our first compass rose. And uh, we'll, we'll update this and make it nicer as more materials become available. As, uh, as we, we do some more exploration. So, between this episode and next episode, I'm probably gonna flesh out the farms a little bit more. Just get some more trees growing. Uh, make some more area for growing crops because we're gonna need a lot more than we have right now and uh, Probably, you know do some grindy stuff like getting some more uh, Reeds to make more scaps and things like that and then next time probably Next time probably we're, we'll go on another adventure. We're gonna make another attempt at finding bauxite which is the material that I am most interested in having as soon as possible. I have plans for bauxite and once we have bauxite, I'm gonna upgrade the front of this house a little bit more. And then probably start fleshing out the inside. Also I need to start making plaster. Uh, I'm torn on whether to try making plaster now or whether to wait until I have a windmill so that we can make the lime, the ground lime more, more easily. Cause doing it by hand with this is gonna be an absolute nightmare. Let's be honest with ourselves, my friends, it'd be a nightmare. Doing that by hand. I got my wrist troubles, which anybody who's been around the channel for a while already knows about. Uh, also, I'm gonna keep these animals fed. I'm gonna have to get some more, get some more grass for Big Bighorn U to be named shortly. All right, that's it, folks. Thank you so much for watching. And by the way, don't forget, I've also got a multiplayer server, which you are welcome to play on. Uh, all you gotta do is sign up as my patron for one dollar per month. It's just a dollar. And you have access to my patron server. It's really nice. We got all the loveliest people. It's modded a little bit. And uh, it's, it's, there's other rewards too. Go check out patreon.com slash secretfoxfire if you have not, if you can afford it. Because it's a big help to me. Oh, there's another wolf. I'm gonna have to go on another wolf hunt, friends. Check, check out the Patreon. Play with me on the server. We need more people to play with. It's a, it's a lovely place with lovely people. I'm gonna see you in the next episode. Bye!